Well, welcome back guys, and thanks for joining us for another episode of Habitats. Here we are at the coral reef we have on the ground floor at Sea Life Melbourne. Now, coral reefs are typically found in tropical areas. So this water is quite warm, around about 25 or 26 degrees. The animals that live in this habitat typically are quite brightly colored. And that's because they live in very brightly colored corals. What you'll find is a lot of these animals live in a coral reef because of one important thing, and that is shelter. If we have a look, a lot of these corals provide habitat or shelter for these animals to live in. Under this coral up the back here, we can see this beautiful striker fish who was hiding underneath that coral and may find that is a good spot to rest. Coral reefs have a lot of food in them and also lots of places to hide from large predators. So you will find most small fish in uh, the coral reefs will live really close to the corals. Now in this exhibit, we've got lots of different shapes and sizes of animals. So it's important to make sure that we provide lots of different shelter for these animals to live in. Some of the other things we've been talking about in a habitat that's important to replicate is uh, the water temperature, but also oxygen. And if we have a look at the top of the exhibit here, we can see where the water's coming into this exhibit and putting oxygen or air into the water. That allows the fish to breathe it through their gills. By uh, making sure the water has enough oxygen in it, we make sure all of these animals keep nice and healthy. Now you may wonder where all of these animals get food from in a coral reef. Well, some of them actually eat coral. So you might notice that some of these corals aren't real. And that's because they do take a long time to grow and fish are naturally quite destructive. So they would peck them and uh, probably damage them. So what we've got here are replicas of these corals that enable them to use them for shelter. We actually feed them from the top of this exhibit. And one of the strangest things I think they like to eat are peas and broccoli. Now in the wild, a lot of these fish would be vegetarians and would eat a wide variety of algae. Here at the aquarium, we can replicate that food source by using peas or broccoli or anything green really. They also like sushi nori, the sushi that goes around the outside of your sushi rolls. Now when you're replicating a habitat, especially something complicated like a, a, the Great Barrier Reef, you need to make sure you've provided not only food, oxygen, water and shelter, you also need to make sure that they might have some friends. Quite a lot of these fish are schooling fish and they do like it if they can swim with their friends. So you'll notice some of them look very similar in shape or indeed in colour. These grey fish we can see here with the funny noses are called unicorn fish and in the wild they would swim in large groups not only for safety but also more eyes to look out for food. If you're thinking about replicating a coral reef habitat, perhaps drawing a picture of the animals that you've seen today, do keep in mind you need a wide variety of different places for the animals to shelter in. You need to think of a way that you would bring food into that habitat. And you also need to think about how warm the water should be. If you're in one of our more senior classes, you might want to think about a coral food web. Think of all the things that these fish might eat. And if you're really excited about coral reefs, just like I am, maybe you could try and make some corals just like ours. Our corals are made of plaster, but perhaps you could make some out of cardboard or indeed a paper plate. These corals, if they were real, could take hundreds of years to grow. You could probably make your own coral in a very short amount of time. You can just see one of our blue tangs or dories having a little rest in one of these corals, using it for shelter, just as we were talking about earlier. I hope you've enjoyed visiting our coral reef. My name's Olivia, and it's been really nice telling you all about habitats. See you next time.